Today I'll make a short video about uh, seeing what, what, what type of desktop environments you can install onto Crouton. It's covered briefly. They mentioned that uh, you can run dash T XFCE. That's one desktop environment for Crouton on your Chromebook. Um, let's see if they say anything else about uh, a desktop. Um, they mentioned some other stuff like running Siwi and Zorg if you want to, what do you call it, do some stuff. But today I'm going to talk about how you can list all the desktop environments that are available. And we go back to the dash T command over here. Um, where is it? So sudo crouton dash T XFCE. I'm going to open a, a, a Crouch. Uh, session control alt T and go into shell and so you can do crouton dash T list and that will list all the different desktop environments that are available to you so in the default example over here they had mentioned installing XFCE but you can also install a larger version of XFCE, XFCE desktop, and I mentioned Siwi and Zorg. Um, over here, I have uh, Crouton in the windowed environment. Usually it's not by default, but if you add like Siwi and Zorg, uh, or something like that, um, you can have a window and environment so you can run side by side while you're actually running Linux over here um, versus having to switch windows with, I forgot how you do it, it's like control alt in window button or something. I, uh, I haven't done this in a while. Um, but anyways, having a crouton available to you is pretty cool. You just basically have Linux at your doorstep and you can, it's a lot easier to install stuff onto Linux versus a Chromebook. Um, so here I have Debian and I actually installed um, Chrome, uh, Chrome, which is nice. It's the newer version of Chrome. And it runs pretty decent considering it's side loaded and it's this is like an old Chromebook from like five years ago. Um, and if I go to about Google Chrome, you can see that I'm probably running Chrome 99 and I can update this if I want to. Um, so back to uh, the desktop environments, just run the command crouton-t uh, list if you want to list all the desktop environments. And then when you want to actually install it, per the example over here, you do sudo crouton-t and then the desktop environment you want to run. So instead of doing uh, instead of doing xfce, I could always just do cwe comma zorg like that I think uh, let me see the example with cwe yeah they use just a comma to do multiple desktop environments I think um, so that's it I just wanted to show you how you could see all the different uh, desktop environments that are available to you and then how you would install it you, it's just after the dash t uh, uh, after the dash T, just put in your uh, desktop environment, and I think you can use a comma to if you need to use multiple uh, desktop environments, install multiple des desktop environments. Because once you have it installed, uh, you you just run the command over here in the example to run it. You just do sudo, and then start whatever the desktop environment is. So or sudo enter ch root and then. Uh, again, I'm not an expert. I just, I didn't even know that you could install different desktop environments. And so um, in the tutorial here, it doesn't mention like what command you run to list all the desktop environments for Crouton. But so I, I thought I'd add this. I'm not sure there's a video about it. So have a good day.